we have seen what's happening in Saudi Arabia with uh, the becoming more modern whilst growing against the Sharia with concerts and nightclubs and music and alcohol allowed in some cases and things like this. Um, but it's even more surprising when uh, Muslim singers, they choose to publicly sing, that's one thing, and they choose to publicly sing in Saudi, that's another, and apparently um, Ahima Beg um, performed Umrah after concert in Jeddah. Um, so you want to do something like this and then go and perform Umrah. I'm not saying not to, and they shouldn't be. Um, of course, Umrah, performing Umrah is something positive and rewarding. But you're thinking about performing Umrah and then you decide to sing beforehand. But what goes through your mind that you're singing in Saudi? What else you got in the back of your mind? You're gonna perform Omra. Uh, what kind of double sound mockery is this? Um, it's like you know what's good and what's not good, and in a country which has two of the holy, three two of the three holy. Or Tony Moss in Islam within it, you want to do singing publicly and so many people listening to it and then at the same time go and perform Umrah. Um, if things like this um, continue, then would we even have Umrah and Hajj available in Saudi with? Story, so if more people decide to sing and do wrong things and then Saudi becomes more like Vegas and then the religious element is lost people should think about what they're doing they know what's right and performing Umrah is something that is right you clearly know what is right and you clearly want to have your sins forgiven and do good deeds but on the side, other side you want to pollute people's ears their minds and and corrupt people in their religion in Saudi uh, it's not acceptable people should think twice about what career path they choose but what also that's one thing but taking that to Saudi and making it even worse